so we have all these tables right it's showing us let me go back to use Google let's go with use Google go back in Google and I can execute right so back in Google you so you know that we created these two make three tables actually let me refresh it so in Google we have these three tables what about the rows we want uh, sorry the columns table is a combination of columns and rows we created some columns we want to list we listed the tables in there but now we want to see the columns for that again it's select star from information schema dot this time we're gonna put columns and it's the third one there like always semicolon let's execute it we have we are seeing the columns names we can see that's it's everything is in Google so that's in your okay I'm I am working in Google there's a department and it has two columns department number department name. so or you can say it okay these two columns are for they are part of one because you see one two one two three that's how you see that okay each one represent that's a new column uh, th table started and it's the first column second third and if you see four here it will go all the way to not whatever number and then if as soon as it hit one again that means the new table started that's a quick way of doing that so you can see one two it's you can know these both two columns these are the names they are in the same table again department name is same because I dupli duplicated it so you can ignore this second one and that you can see this one this is a new table course details and it has one two three columns with different name that's how you can do that uh, so let me actually show you more in in depth let's go to uh, go back here execute now I am in adventure works and if I run it again it's gonna list all the columns in this the tables of adventure works so if I execute again you can see one two three four one two three four five six seven eight nine then one two three four so it means this four now automatically I know that they are on the same table rather than me going looking for them I can simply go quickly here against these numbers and say okay this one and all of that so you can keep seeing each time it hits one the table name changes so it's a new table so that's a quick way of checking and making sure that what you're looking for you can actually go so this one is gives you more details rather than going in there because in there it's it if for the smaller stuff yes it's faster but this one gives you the insight in depth that you need that's how you list all the columns of your database tables